Hello Taurus, this is your quickie love reading and we are going to take a look at the energy for you at this time and see what is going on in your love life. What can we help you with? Okay, so Taurus, call. You are in the process of needing to make a judgment call. This is really destiny is calling you to make a decision to let something go or to not let something go. We see the energy of transformation. For most of you, you're in a relationship in which you truly need to have something work differently than it currently works. Transformation is a death card. This is a judgment card. We have the high priestess. The energy that you're bringing in is that you intuitively know exactly what is needed in this relationship. The star card, you definitely see your person as someone who is very valuable in your life, somebody who is a rock star. It does look like the two of you are going through something that is challenging at this time. The temptation card there, we have the challenge, that is devil energy. It is oftentimes and most likely to be the desire to control the situation or to do things by the way one partner wants or needs it without consideration for the other partner. Devil energy is very tempting, especially when we don't feel things are going our way. We see the Queen of Pentacles, very, very nice energy. That is the energy of nurturing relationship. It's the energy of being willing to do the work in a relationship. So it does speak to the strength of the relationship. Both of you really wanting to have a good outcome. Both of you are very invested in the relationship. We do have the energy that both of you are staying detached, calm, cool, collected, you know, wanting to have good communication. And that's what I see coming in here, that you're both going to take a look, really looking at this in a very, very, almost a business-like way. How can we improve this? How can we change? What decisions should we make? This can also mean for some of you that you may be moving to a different place or you may be considering a whole different way of life with someone. And we have four of water. Both of you are feeling uh, a bit bored, a bit restless, kind of like what can we do to make things fun or better or interesting. The ace of water does say that your hearts are open in this relationship. It's a very sweet energy and it is a new beginning in love. So there we have it. We have transformation and a new birth in love. So that's good energy. The messenger of earth really speaks to the fact that you should probably stay very practical today. You know, just do the mundane things, do errands, do things together. There should be a sense of togetherness and purpose and a lot of sweetness today. You have great energy between the two of you, but there is some tension right now. We have the Wheel of Fortune is reversed. So whatever decision you're trying to make about big changes in your life, you should put that on hold right now. Um, really speaks to the fact that timing is not going in your favor. You know, but the wheel, the destiny wheel always changes, right? You spin the wheel, you, you take another chance. But it does speak to the fact that right now, the two of you need to be the ones who bring good luck and transformation into your relationship. The three of water, wonderful card. That really speaks to the fact that you need to get with, get out with friends, go do things, you know, engage socially and get outside the relationship a little bit because it looks like you're focused a lot on dramatic changes that you really don't have any control over that are happening in your life. Your outcome cards are the queen of air, making head over heart decisions, the king of air, excellent energy. You have all the tools you need intellectually to solve the problem. The queen of water, lots of love in this relationship. Both of you have the ability to be very gentle, very tender, very kind, and that is what it looks like. So let's see what the advice from the wisdom of the oracle is for you for this reading. Taurus, let's see what we have. All right, we have TikTok. Okay, so both of you are feeling very much under pressure to make a decision in some sort of timely manner. Again, I feel as though it could be jobs, it could be moving, it could be buying or selling homes, it could be anything. 
um, yin energy. The best energy to bring right now is very soft, nurturing energy, very receptive energy, a willingness to be will, you know, to talk to one another and just hear what the other's saying without doing anything or taking any action. Just taking it all in. Imagine, spend some time fantasizing together about what you want to manifest in your relationship. That's your reading. That's your quickie. Thanks, Taurus. If you like it, please like, subscribe, share, and comment.